Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Hypnotic Lady and the company I will be working with is our Wow African. They sent me a natural Yaki Straight 22 inch 180 density wig. Jumping right in, of course they sent me a silk drawstring bag, cute little thank you note, wig cap, comb, and of course my edge tamer, flyaway tamer, aka wax stick. This is the unit, this is their kinky straight 22 inch it is HD lace y'all the hairline came pre-plugged pre-bleached I didn't have to do anything to this wig it does come with adjustable elastic bands so you can adjust it to your liking um, and of course adjustable straps in the back this is a hundred percent glueless unit you do not have to adhere this down and look at that hairline this wig came with um, pre-made edges natural edges i went ahead and pressed them out off a of camera with my hot comb but they came curly i am going to be using some adhesive this time no ball cap method to lay this wig down i haven't used adhesive real adhesive in a minute so i just figured i'd do something different and why not use it i love my erica j hold me down adhesive that is my go-to i use it for all my clients they get their hair done and i'm going to just do three thin layers starting in the middle and then working my way over to the sides once we get that done I'm just going to gently place the lace down like so and wrap up this install y'all this install is so quick and easy I love the fact that Wild African sends the pre-made hairlines like they're pre-plucked pre-bleach I literally don't have to do nothing but put it on your head cut out your ear tabs and um go really that's it the glue in part is optional you do not have to do this it did fit flush to my head everything was laying how i wanted it to this just is complete option optional um as you guys can see i did not do a ball cap my hair is 613 blonde and it is super super short so i really didn't see the need into doing a ball cap you can do a ball cap if you want to protect your hair but i put the glue on my forehead as you guys can see it's strictly on my skin so i really didn't have to worry about that I am just going to um, gently place the lace down like I said and I'm going to take my rat tail comb and just comb the lace into the adhesive. I didn't have to go in with my blow dryer because I let the glue dry to clear. Once you get it to a clear texture it is dry and ready to be laid down. Just make sure you're not pressing down too much because you don't want it to get all gunky or seep through the lace. And as you guys can see, I'm just going to repeat the same steps on the left side and then the right side. And then once we get done with that, we're going to get into parting and finishing up the style. Uh. Guys, you know you better watch out uh. Some girls, some girls are only about That thing, that thing, that thing That thing, that thing, that thing
Now, just for a little extra security, I'm gonna take my even Wonder Lace Spray and I'm just going to pop that in on the perimeter of the lace. This is completely optional. You do not have to do this, but like I am, being the person I am, I just like to be real extra. So, I am just popping that in on top and then once that is done, I'm going to take my Songbird Blow Dryer and my rat tail comb and just comb through the hair while it's blow drying just so it doesn't get gunky or anything like that y'all already know how i am i don't want the product to build up on the hair so i try as much as possible to make sure that it's spread pretty evenly and not um caking up once that's done i am going to pull out my parting space we will be doing a side part this is what the lace is looking like once everything is done. I didn't tie it up or anything this time because I really didn't see the need to, but it's definitely giving scalp. Like, definitely giving scalp. I love the natural texture of the hair. It's definitely giving my hair. You know, not everybody's hair is silky bone straight like Brazilian hair. The yakki is definitely giving, you know, black girl hair. And that's, that's what you want. Now I'm just going to do me a side part and as you guys can see this is a 13 by 6 unit. Um, you can do deep side parts, deep middle parts and now I'm just parting out my little leave out, well sorry not my leave out, my baby hairs. Um, I'm not really going to do a lot of baby hairs. I'm going to make this look as natural as possible. I wanted this to look like you know just a natural updo ponytail and not too dramatic not too forced everything i wanted to look very sleek and natural like now i am going to take my wax stick that they provided for me and i am going to run that through my um hair at the top just smoothing out my part and then the fur the perimeter of my hairline i did pick up this new um con air flat uh not flat iron Hot comb, it goes to 425 degrees, y'all, and that shit was hot. You guys will see the little steam coming off, the smoke coming off of it, because it was hot. But definitely you can get this from Target. If you guys want a um, link, I will link the, uh, y'all, hold on, I'm getting tongue-tied. But I will link the hot comb in my description box or in the comment section below. You just let me know. This was, I think, $50, but it's definitely, definitely worth it. Like I said, it got super, super hot. I had to be weary with how I was using this thing because I could have easily burnt myself. Like, I felt it through the hair all the way down to the cap with <laughs> no hesitation. Like, okay, it was hot, hot. So once I get everything pressed out nice and sleek how I want to, I am just going to start molding this hair into a ponytail with a little swoop. And with this hair being yakky straight, uh, well, sorry, kinky straight, I did not have to um, mold the uh, bang part down with like holding spray or anything like that. It laid perfectly. And I'm just trying to get the top as flat as possible. This was some big, thick hair, so I wanted it to look, you know, as seamless as possible. Just brushing through that. I didn't get no shedding or no tangling from this hair. I'm just hot combing it through and make sure to try to get it as flat as possible. I want it to look as realistic as possible and not like no helmet on my head. Look at that. It's already looking like my hair is giving blowout, okay? It look like, like, like I just went to the Dominicans, okay? So once we get done with that, I am going to put some makeup into my part just to find it, make it all look, make it all nice and neat looking, more realistic. And then we're going to mold the hair up into this swoop bang ponytail and then that will wrap up the finished look. To define my part, I will be taking this Fit Me 
foundation powder in the shade 235 and I'm just going to pop that right into my part using this precision eyeshadow brush or eyebrow brush I don't really know what you want to call it but it's just like a little makeup brush I am just blending that all the way through and then I'm going to just take my finger on top and blend everything out make sure it doesn't look like I just put makeup on top of the lace I wanted to smooth it out and try to make it look as realistic as possible and this is what it's looking like now I'm going to take my heat protectant spray and just do a couple spritz throughout the hair just to give it some shine and I'm going to take my silk pressing comb and my nano titanium straightener and then I am just going to run my straightener through this hair a couple of times and press out the hair as flat as I can. It is not going to get silky straight, bone straight like Brazilian hair just because this is kinky straight. But it got straight enough to the point where I liked it. It was workable for me, you know. And once that's done, I am going to mold this into an updo with this swoop and mold my little blow bun ponytail and then that will finish the completed look. Once that's done, I am just going to take out a small section in the front and run my hot comb through that just to make sure everything's nice and flat. Like I said, I was trying to get this as flat as possible. Um, I did not use any wax stick or holding spray or anything to make this bang or mold this bang. So the key for me to make it look slick, I just figured I needed to press it out. You know, just press it out as much as I could to make it as flat as I could. And it was already given. Now I'm just going to mold this going behind my ear using my rat tail comb and I'm just going to tuck that behind my ear like so as you guys can see and I did leave out this little piece in the back of the wig that you guys can see hanging down and I'm going to take this hair tie and I'm just going to rubber band or tie those together once that's done I'm just going to pull that extra tight to make sure it's nice and firm and that's basically how the bang is going to stay and not have to really worry about it as you guys can see it's already laying super flat cute didn't have to do too much now i'm just going to run my hot comb through the other side just to make sure everything is nice and flat you don't want to skip over on one side after you've already you know pressed out the bang because i don't want this looking like no helmet like i said and i'm also going to run my hot comb through my baby hairs you already know those of you who follow me oh well, sorry subscribe to my oh sorry y'all subscribe to my channel know how I get down so now I'm just molding everything back and look how the hairline is looking these baby hairs are so realistic and the hairline came with this it came pre with pre baby hairs everything all I did was press them out like I love this natural look because like I said in my last video I am kind of getting over the baby hair phase I'm just really not into it as much. So I'll be trying to do as little as possible. That was still giving, you know, edges, but it wasn't so, it wasn't baby hairs. You, you, if you get what I'm saying, like that looks like grown women edges that, you know, you just slick back and put it into a low pony. And that's exactly what I wanted. I loved how natural this hair looked on me. It looks very, very realistic. Looks like it was my hair and that's exactly what I wanted. Now I'm just going to put this hair up into a pony, pull out this other sideburn. And once that's done, we're going to mold this bun and then finish up. Uh. Guys, you know you better watch out uh. Some girls, some girls are only about That thing, that thing, that thing That thing, that thing, that thing 
next I'm going to take this eco style gel and just smooth everything out I did like the way my edges were laying naturally but I just wanted them to look more sleek and natural looking so you know of course go in with some holding gel just to make sure everything is staying in place and nothing moves I love these adult baby hairs that's what I'm gonna call them because um, they are just sleek back edges they are not you know full-blown baby hairs and like I said I've been trying my best to get out of that so I thought this is really really cute really really convenient very realistic very much given scalp and you know you not got baby hairs I did go take my Kaposi mini straightener and I am going to pre curl my side burns just because why not once I pre curl those I'm going to go back in with my eco style gel and just swoop the doop those you know and then once that's done I'm just going to lay my bang one more time make sure everything's nice and neat um I loved how how easy it is to uh, swoop your edges using a straightener or a curling iron to just pre curl them like it gets it cuts time in half which is baby hairs okay because baby hairs be taking me a minute and then that one this baby hair didn't even come out how I wanted it to but it was all right because it wasn't the main attraction since it was the side over there with the swoop I didn't really care too much about how it came out you know as long as it was there that's all I was really going for but now I'm just going to run the little bit of excess gel that is left on my edge control brush. I'm sorry, on my, um, yeah, edge control brush. I'm just going to pop that onto the front of my bang. And then this is the finished look. I am going to pop this little bobby pin in in the back to make sure everything is nice and secure. I didn't want anything coming up or riding up in the back. And yeah, smoothing out this bang one more time. And then this is the finished look. Get into it, get into it. This is Wow African, and I am going to give you guys a 360 of this unit. I never wear my hair, my wigs, and, you know, ponytails or anything like that because, I don't know, I just be thinking they don't look realistic, but I just tried it with this one, and I think it gave a little bit. I did have that little strand piece hanging out, but it was okay. Um, I later went back in and took that up with a bobby pin, but... Overall, I definitely give this look a 10 out of 10. Instagram was eating it up. TikTok was eating it up. It looks really, really natural on me. This is Wild Africans Kinky Straight. It did come in 22 inches and 180 density HD lace. As you guys can see up close and personal, y'all know I love to zoom in. And I know y'all love to see the zoom in. So I had to show y'all up close and personal. No filter, no nothing. This is what the lace is giving. Love, love, love. Definitely recommend if you are a beginner or just anybody that doesn't have time to customize a wig or doesn't care to, definitely recommend this unit. I definitely recommend this brand. Overall, 10 out of 10. Love it. Again, I hope you ladies enjoyed this video. Let me know what y'all think. Let me know if y'all want to see more updo videos. Um, Girl, I kept throwing up the peace sign. I don't know what the hell I was doing, but... Y'all let me know if y'all like this little updo. I don't really do too many updos. So if y'all like this or thought that this was a cute little bun tutorial, let me know. And I'll try to do more later on for you guys. But please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what y'all think below in the comment section. Make sure y'all are hitting that bell so you guys get post notifications for when I drop. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah. Thank you guys so much. We are on the road for 150K. Hey.